party to have fun, you see. I got different hobbies, and that's all I need. Some say life is boring, but I disagree. I wake up and live my dream. Someday soon, I'm gonna make it. Michael, where on earth are we? Is this a jail? <laughs> it looks like it, doesn't it? So we're in the heart of Los Angeles at a secret spot. I can't tell you exactly, well, you know Adam, but nobody else can know the street or where we exactly are. But we're here to see some very special items, very special items. We're here to see Richie Miller Marcello, AKA the Treasure King. He has one of the hugest collections of stuff, very fancy stuff, uh, I think in the United States. So. Uh, Let's see if we can get in here. What do you think? Pull button. There we go. Maybe they'll come and get us. Look at this. It's like Fort Knox. This is how I imagine like a high security prison to be. Or not. No one's coming. Hello. The difference is here they're trying to stop you from getting in. Yes. Not out. Yeah, the, yeah. The true. spikes are pointed the other way. I went, Hi. It's Hi. Michael here to see Richie. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Michael. Monique. Very Monique, nice to my meet pleasure. You. This is Adam. Hi, Hi. Adam. how you doing? Nice to meet Great you. Nice to meet you. So here we are. Here uh, we it's are. Like, like a jail. Ah. Well, all these treasures you might want to keep it behind bars. <laughs> Thank Welcome. you. Welcome. Richie! Oh wow. Wow. It's like Aladdin's cave. Look at this. Richie? Michael's here. <laughs> What is this? Oh, this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Look at these. Look at these. Richie! Hey, Michael, how's it going, How baby? Brother? What's Good up, to see brother? You. Long time. Happening? How you Long doing? Time. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, well, thanks for having piece, us. Isn't it? What is it? Let me put on my hat to get into character here. Yeah, get yourself in character. All right. I'm going to give you a tour. This is some killer stuff in here. You know, this is is like some of the best stuff in the United States of America I've been collecting all my life. It comes from incredible landmarks. This piece, one of the best teller cages I've ever seen in my life. I mean, we have the whole front of this building. Teller cages, that's where someone would buy tickets. Yes, right? a, a, in fact, Al Capone used to buy his tickets right here at this teller cage. You can see the millions of people that have touched this. You see how it's all worn right here? But Al Capone didn't buy tickets. He would put his gun there and say, give me tickets, right? <laughs> well, actually, you know something? This is such a fantastic piece. You know, I have the whole front of the building. It's, it's like, incredible. It's like 40 feet of it, 40, 50 feet of it. It's all polished bronze. I have the original uh, onyx base to it. It's, it's really magnificent. Once you polish it, it looks like gold. I mean, it's, it's, it's cool as hell. Amazing. So this is this is a landmark. This is pretty cool. This I have the Onyx base for and all. I told you that. Over here I have a pair of these uh, uh, documented Tiffany windows. I have one of the largest collection of Tiffany windows in the United States of America. I've been collecting ever since I was a kid. So to, just to interrupt you, so a Tiffany window, I, I don't know that much about them, but I do know they're incredibly expensive and very rare, right? Yeah. Just so that the viewers get an idea of what they're looking at here. What is something like this worth? Well, you know, there was a, a in the 80s and the 90s, a lot of the Japanese were buying these windows and they were paying real high money for them. They were paying probably about $150,000 a piece for a window like this. But this one has documentation, it has history. When it has a documentation in history, that's when it's worth Substantially more, right? Yeah, yeah. Do people put these in the house as a window? Or they put, they frame them. What do they do with them? Well, you know, it was only the wealthy that that really bought Tiffany because back in the turn of the century, um, uh, uh, an acre of land was a dollar an acre. Okay, uh, Tiffany window was two dollars a foot. So, That's so crazy. it was kind That's of a crazy, prestigious right? yeah. thing to buy from Lewis Comfort Tiffany, the son of Charles Tiffany, who is Tiffany and Company, who draped all the wealthy industrialists with jewels and diamonds. He still, actually, he still has a company, the Tiffany and Company. But uh, Lewis Comfort Tiffany was his son, and um, you know he's he he made it very very famous with his lamps. Some of his lamps go for as much as two hundred and fifty thousand up to two and a half million. Um, you know, it's, it's just, he was very, very popular because his first job 
was to decorate the White House. That's um, a big job for a first that's a job, big right? Job. My first job was washing dishes for the British Army. <laughs> <laughs> but that was in 1878. That's amazing. What yeah. else you got to show us? Oh, Hold on, uh, before, no. we, before we carry on, uh, did you know that this is actually the inspiration behind my tattoo right here? Really? Oh, yeah, no. that's really cool. Oh, I hate you. I, 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 <laughs> this guy, that's you great, know. That's great. <laughs> so, rumour has it, you have some very special pieces. You have beds from King's, you have Whitney Houston's piano, all mm. sorts of crazy stuff. Is that accurate? Yeah. You have it yeah. here? Yeah, but I have most of it here. I have a, I have storage places all over. Well, let's see what you've got, because I'm excited to see it. I'm okay. sure everybody else is excited all right. to see it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Well, this is a bed. It's this a, is your bed. This is my bed. This is your bed. You wouldn't Can, fit in that bed, I Michael. I knew you were coming. You're too so tall. I'd it. get in that bed. But you are too tall. Can for I get that. in the bed? Sure, get in the bed. I'm gonna get in the bed. Get in the I bed. I should take my phone out. My How would I get in the bed? I should take my shoes off, right? I'm gonna take oh, my shoes off. Leave the shoes now on. I'm taking my shoes off, take my phone out my pocket, and getting in the bed. Is it soft? Oh, it's nice. I'm in a king's bed. I'm in a king. Oh my gosh, that's bright. You do. Fit. I'm surprised. I didn't think you were gonna fit. It looks really look at small. This. Look at this. This is, uh, actually, this guy looks like you. Hold on. Let's do this what, the, right. The one on the left. Good night. No, no. The one in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> so, so guess what? You know Tell something. Me. These Do I have to get out of the bed? These are all of his maidens, okay? I and can't see anything. The lights are bright. As you can bright. see, ah. this maiden is like getting ready. And over here, okay. I'm glad I don't have holes here, in my socks. Check it out, Adam. Look, come over here. She's getting a little bit more ready. As you can see, she has one exposed, you know what, Ooh, here. We'll blur that out, PG channel. And guess what? And right here, she's, she's a little bit more ready. Okay. And there, whoop, they're out again. Ready. Completely she's ready. They're ready out. They're out again. To rest with the king. Okay. So this is, this is what that is. Very nice. I mean, it's amazing. Like the not, detail. Not only are they ready, but they're also perched upon elephants. And guess Did you what? See that? No, Michael, no Michael, reference Michael. to trunks. Yes. Mike, I slept in this bed for five years, and this is what it does. <laughs> Okay, you see that? Careful, it's going to fall. You see that? So you can't get too rambunctious in it, or else it'll all fall down you on can, you. But and you, you can't know, have neighbors either because it rattles. No, really. you have to. You have to just be passionate about it. Uh huh. So here we go. <laughs> These came out of the French courthouse, uh, out of the Supreme Court. You can see all the numbers on the back. This is m amazing. Am I allowed to show this price tag that we've got over here? How do I look? Does my hair look good? Looks no, great. Look Does my hair look alright? Like I'm going to show it anyway. Yeah, $75,000. Is that for, is that for one, one or for all of them? Not, not oh, that's for ten. Come for here, all come ten. Here. Seven and a half grand each. This is, this is really fun, okay? These big, huge, gigantic sconces that take like five guys to pick up. I mean, these things are solid bronze. They're like, oh, you don't have Michael, this try to Try to uh, pick it up with you. Come on. <laughs> Ready? Go. No, no, never mind. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, these it's belong. It's easy. <laughs> these belong to uh, the late Robin Williams, and I never knew that he collected things like this. He what bought, exactly is it? It's a big, big sconce that came off of a huge building out of uh, out of New York, and he bought four of these. He paid two hundred and eighty thousand dollars for them. His estate, the people that were in control of his estate, got in touch with me, and I bought the four of them. Well. I paid a little bit less, but they're really a piece of history. Plus, Robin Williams own, owning them makes it like pretty cool, right? Very cool. Very cool. So, what else we got? Let's continue. What? Let's hold on. There. Hold on. What wait, Michael. Yes. Before we go there, look at this ship. Let's have a look at the ship. That's a big ship. Okay, this ship. That's has, a big ship. Just ship to put that in perspective. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, big eight, ship. Eight. Big ship. This ship has about 110 cannons on it. You can get a close up, they're all made out of brass. Anytime I see a large model ship like this, I usually buy it because I love ships. Because as, as you can see, I'm part pirate. <laughs> I, I would have said you're a total pirate. Huh? Look at you. I am, I'm, I'm a freaking pirate. But baby. you have two arms. Two the, all the famous pirates, they have a hook, don't they? they do. some of them. And a peg leg. A hook, and a peg leg. Yeah, he has all his limbs. He's a useless pilot. <laughs> a useless pirate. Okay, this is Saint. This is Saint Michael slaying the dragons, all carved out of wood, about 250 years old. Did you this know that I um, use this as inspiration for my tattoo? Stop it! Behave yeah. yourself. 
but there's not a chair can go by without me sitting in it. Selfie time. Click. I didn't really do a selfie. Isn't this cool? And guess what? You want to hear something crazy about that chair? I do. Luigi Fiorlini did a lot of work for the Pope, okay? And he would try to scare the evil spirits away. And you know what he did? Made this chair. Lift up your arm. He did oh, these. Look at that. <laughs> he made demons. That's demons? Scare. I thought there was something else. Demons are scared the this evil is... spirits away. That Can you believe that? Crazy. So, was this the Pope's chair? No, what he did is, it, it, is he made chairs for, he made bishop chairs where he used to fold them up and carry them. But Luigi Fiorini was one of the best wood carvers out of Italy. It's and uh, incredible. what they used to do, they used to believe if you make grotesque uh, pieces and faces and so on and so forth, it would scare the evil spirits away. So, that's basically that. And over here, let's go into the brighter side of the world. I saw a piano back there. I want to see that piano. It looked rather amazing. Okay. Where are you taking me? Let's go into... Look! There's just so many this, amazing this, things this, here. This, looks this, this right here is Norman Rockwell. Norman Rockwell actually painted this. So we made it out of bronze. There's a lot of customers that love this in Beverly Hills. There's that guy on Sunset, <laughs> Sunset Boulevard, you know, has all the bronzes out front. Right, right. You know, the big millionaire guy. But this right here, <coughs> if you go through right here, this is... Uh, this place is enormous. Yeah. You, I had no idea. Check it out. Other oh, than no, it has like, like a Michael. jail container in it. No, actually it looks like your photographer, Adam. Yeah, this is Adam. Yeah, <laughs> this, this, is, is Adam. This, this is Adam. Hey, I liked you for a minute then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wonder if he has a tattoo on his arm that looks uh, <laughs> something inspired by one of your pieces. By St. Michael. St. Michael. That's Marks you, and Spencers. That's what you make me call you off camera, oh, don't oh, you? Oh, 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 His Lordship. L Lord Michael. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Work till I die, till I die, till I die. I'm gonna fail and get up, cause I'm not giving up on my dreams. This, this, Ooh. this is incredible. So, I don't know where Richie has gone, but I believe from our discussions, this was Whitney Houston's. There he is. Okay, this this is this Whitney to, Houston. This belonged to Whitney Houston. She spent her first paycheck on it. She was like a young girl, didn't grow up with much money. But when she made her first 15 million hits, she took a paycheck and bought this beautiful piano. Now, what's really crazy about it? You see how great these legs are here. Uh, Bruno Mars, who's a, you know a little guy, he wanted to use a piano for for a video lately, but. They thought it was a little bit too big. But anyhow, Whitney loved this piano. And this was her piano bench, and I'm sure that there was a lot of songs written here. And she actually played piano, believe it or not. And uh, <coughs> the uh, she, she hit these piano legs. She got in a lot of trouble. She owed $485,000 at a storage place in um, right outside of New York. And uh, you know, she took the piano legs and hit them because she did not want the piano to be sold because she loved the piano so much. Anyhow, the lawyers and everybody had convinced her to bring the, the piano legs to the auction because this was laying on the floor. Anyhow, to make a long story short, I have it now. The guy I got it from wanted $5 million for it. Um, I thought it was too much. I told him to bring it to my gallery, and, and I ended up buying it. Traded him a whole freaking 54 put truckload of stuff for it. <laughs> Anyhow, let's hear it. Beautiful it plays. That's it. We need a drum set so that we can uh, So you can play, play the drums. Yeah, we'll go over to the Dream Factory. and we'll have the, Michael's going to play some drums because he's a great drummer. Let's check this out over here. Okay. This is the Marilyn Monroe room, okay? Marilyn now, Monroe room. It's a Marilyn Monroe room. That's a room. first for me. Out of all these pictures, out of all these pictures, you can see, you can take a shot of all these pictures right here. Okay? Milton, Milton Green was a great photographer. And he took this picture of Marilyn in 1953. In 1953, he sent Marilyn this picture. Marilyn sent him back a letter and two dozen roses and said, Milton, I love you so much. This is the best picture I've ever seen of myself. So, look, she had that beautiful little innocent look. It's a beautiful picture, but you've got some amazing pictures here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have thought she'd have picked something else. This is her in Malibu Beach, you know, this is her a little bit later. 
you know, shown at Malibu Beach. This is an enormous selection of Marilyn works. This is right, I, right after she got an operation on her spleen. We can't she's, show that one. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll stay away from that we'll one. We'll stay away from that one. She's <laughs> clueless. No, no. And this was some of her, uh, well, actually, this is some of Whitney Houston's furniture to match her piano. And I got so this was in thing. Whitney's house? Yeah, it was in Whitney's house at one time, as far as I know. Um, but it was... Doesn't look at too that comfortable, same old, does it? Huh? Doesn't look too comfortable. Well, you know, it is actually. Is it's, it? It's made I'm gonna out try of glass. It. Will it break? No, sit on it. Been sat on for forty years. It's not comfortable. It is a little. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's back breaking. Sit in it. Uh, sit Monique, you, Monique, come here and show these fellows how comfortable this chair is. Here, this is not comfortable. Take a sit right here. Baby. <laughs> Okay. No good? Okay. No, it's terrible. Be honest. Be totally honest. It's not comfortable, is it? <laughs> what you need to do is put well, a clear... Well, I guess it's all about looks, now right? We, now <laughs> we need to go to the chiropractor. Yeah. Well, if you put it's all about looks, yeah. yeah it's all about yeah. looks. It looks amazing, but it's not yeah. functional. It's like it take a lot to clean. <laughs> well, well, she looks good in it. She looks good sitting in any chair. So, how, so, so what else we got? We got so many goodies here. All right, let's Those go look back. like mirrors. These are mirrors. Actually, this is a, this is a great piece. This am I is, right? Am I wrong? This is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. This is a drawing. This is mirrors. The Matisse right. drawing. What is okay. this? It's a it's a drawing done by Matisse. Okay, Henry Matisse. And Expensive. Is, yeah, it's uh, it's two hundred fifty thousand. We, Keep we the camera working. where you have it because there's nudies to the left. We're not allowed to show nudies. Yeah. No nudies. No nudies. Boo. So over in this section, now we're back into the, the gothic age. Okay. Johnny Depp has a lot of my stuff in his house. A lot of rock stars have a lot of their stuff, in, uh, a lot of my stuff Look in their these, home. Adam. Cher has some of my things in, uh, in her home. Look at these pillars. What's the story with these? These, these pillars right here are solid bronze. I have a set of, I think it's either nine or ten of them, but they're very heavy and they are uh, magnificent. I mean, they're a good 12 feet tall. And, uh, you know, originally they came out of a big, you know, around a big, huge building, and they're, they're spectacular. What is, what is something like this worth? Well, you know, we threw a pair in auction, and they brought, I think, 135000 for the pair. So what, what, money-wise, and the, the reason I'm asking you, because I know viewers would like to know this, in this enormous area that we're in, and I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of it in a moment, how much money is in here? Well, you know, you know I don't want to fluff my own feathers. But, I'll fluff them for you. Here you go. But, but uh, seriously... I think I bought and sold more treasures than anybody on the face of this planet. I mean, I, I used to buy and sell, buy and sell, buy and sell, buy and sell, make short money and, and sell a lot of stuff. What you're seeing here is what's left over from all the years of me collecting. I, I basically have turned into a collector. I'm not an antique dealer. I'm a collector. I'm like an entrepreneur that, that, that really loves the the passion but you that, would sell anything if somebody came along and offered you the right money yeah but you're not like often, attached to it well i'm attached to all of it they, they, they're, they're until someone comes business. with the right amount of money if somebody comes right. up with the right amount of money i will sell it you know and usually i went to the auction i was a high bidder so i paid a lot of money for this stuff but uh you know something how much is in here worth yeah appraised value yeah about 60 million but there's more stuff someplace else too, which I which I will show you. Now the thing is, is this is a really cool thing. Look Let's at this. Let's see some more things. This is this is a great piece. This is a great piece. What are we looking at? Of American art history. The mirror. Okay. No, we're looking at this. Looking I like this. I liked it because I could see myself in it. Yeah, let me see how look, I look. Look, right look. Yeah. Let's see what I look. Like. Oh, you know something. The dude. The hat needs to go. No, the hat's cool. You like the hat? Yeah, I love the hat, love, love the, the hat. hat. Great look. Love the jacket, actually. Okay. The, Adam. Uh, Adam. There's Adam. Did you see Adam? He's in the picture, too. Yeah. This is a great mirror. Look at it. It's enormous. This, is, this came out of a... Guys, you have no idea how big things are in here. I mean, things are enormous. Everything is enormous. Even the little table is not a little table. It's enormous. It's huge. Okay, anyhow, let's let's talk about this just for a second. Okay. You know, this is why our great-grandfathers and our, our forefathers came to America for a job. 
This represents the Industrial Revolution back in the turn of the century. Okay, this is Cornelius Vanderbilt's logo, the Rapid Transit Authority, and it's all done with not Tiffany generic glass, but Tiffany furnace glass that he makes his lamps out of. The model glass, the gold, gold foil glass. This piece was appraised at a million and a half dollars years ago. There's a pair now, of no, just to interrupt you, just so, so Cornelius, they made the roads in the United States, yeah, right? Yeah, you can I see, mean, you can see that's, that's a, the wagon wheel turned into the iron gear. Oh yeah. And then, and the wings represent transportation. And basically, it was, it was Cornelius Vanderbilt and Sarah Corcoran that owned the steel mills in, in Pittsburgh that basically built this whole freaking country, okay, all the roads and, and, and everything. But when our forefathers came into America for a job, they left their country, some of them had to leave their families for a job, and they came to Ellis Island, which is the Statue of Liberty, and they signed their name, they had to get shortened, of course, because they were so long. The names were like crazy long, anyhow. They would look across to Manhattan and see the big skyscrapers. They would see all the, the adrenaline. They, they, they had excitement back in the turn of the century of building this great nation, the United States of America, and this represents it. Along with the matching mosaic that's over there, <coughs> which is the equal scales of justice. Which we it was a see, land of right? opportunity. It was a land of jobs and opportunity. It's incredible. So that's, you know, I have that here. So what else have we got? So you got another piano there. Any story with that? Oh, actually, this belonged to Michael Landon. Michael Landon was on the Little House of uh, Prairie, the Little yeah, House on the yeah. Prairie, and he was also on Bonanza. And and his wife Lynn, it's a friend of mine. They were my neighbors in uh, in Malibu, and I bought this piano. <laughs> Was a cool guy very cool nice guy. very nice man michael landon so this it goes on and it just keeps going yeah we can spend we can spend a week here you know there's it, there's stuff in the back i see stuff. i see jackets in cabinets there can we take a peek yeah so we'll take a peek i think so, i need one of these jackets you know i think you know me and yeah man we can beat up we can beat the jacket brothers <laughs> there you go after you okay this is my this is hello my, Hi, Michael. I mean, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Adam. How you doing? Hi. Amin is my interpreter because when I buy things overseas from the Arabs, from you know, from France a lot, from France, from Saudi Arabia or, or, or Dubai, he interprets for me. What languages do you speak? I speak French, Arabic, English, Spanish, and some Italian. Speak to me Spanish. Um, yo, yo hablo mucho español. Yo también me crucé en España. Qué bueno. Sí. Oh. How about French? I love his French. Je ne parle pas français. Je pas suffisant pour une conversation. Parce que voilà, vous venez de parler français. Non, non, non rien. He's great. This is my little team here. Look I don't speak English badly. Oh, really. Hey, me too! <laughs> she can speak Southern. She speaks a I'm really just nice Caroline. Southern, <laughs> southern accent, when things get back bad, it's like H-E double hockey sticks. <laughs> okay, so tell us oh, yeah, about this. this. Okay, this is screen-worn stuff, okay? And you can see, you know... Stuff, stuff. The great jackets, great jackets. You know, Dan Haggerty, Grizzly Adams, was a very good friend of mine, and we used to make jackets. You know, we get the leather, we sew it together, this, that, and the other. So I've, I've always been into these really great leather and, uh, well, for the vegans out there, this is mushroom leather. But basically, you know, <laughs> a lot of really great jackets. Look at this one. Oh, it's so soft. This is actually real snake. I don't kill animals. I can't even step on a spider. You want will, to try this one on, or you want to try on one yeah, of this one? one. Will it fit me? Michael, what dyed to make yes. your shoes? Uh, a, a bunch of Swarovski, Swarovski yeah. crystals. You don't like my shoes? Okay, let's... Uh, my I'm shoes wearing a are a bit Cosmo better. jacket. How do you like those shoes? Oh, no, that's more dead. What have we got? No, no. <laughs> what happened? Is it more... Uh, that's a cheetah. They look but like you know fat something? shoes. You know something? They are... They're very cool. Vegan. I, I, my arm's not going to fit through here. Oh, well, you're not? Okay. Yeah. How, about, this one. how about this one? This works. Does that work? Uh, here, let me get it on over here. Oh yeah. How's it look? 
It's a little on the there small you go. side. It looks very fitted, sir. It looks okay, like where's a mirror? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's there's a out? huge one out here. I want to see. Oh, oh yeah, there is. <laughs> it's a little small, but it's cool, isn't it? It's very snug. What do you think? Is it me? No comment. So I love everybody out there, and this, he's a great guy. Look at him. A great example of a Brit. Right here. I don't know about a great example. I'm a Brit, but the great example. Well, you know, you're be pushing it. Very witty, very. He's great. He's great. I love this guy. Well, thank you. Love you too. Okay. And well. this has been a treat. Thank you so much for having us, all of you. Lovely thank meeting you. you. Nice. Guys, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. We're in it to win it. He won it. Let's all win it. And all also, right. also. Ah, <laughs> wait, there's more. Just Instagram, Instagram, Hollywood. Treasure King. Hollywood, Hollywood Treasure, Treasure King. King. Hollywood, Hollywood Treasure King on Instagram. Instagram, yeah. producer Michael, in case you didn't know. Producer Adam Swords. Instagram, Adam Swords, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Follow us all. Bye. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try.